Hi, I'm Slaying Mascot. I'm working on a video game called Super Spy Raccoon. Only problem is, it might be too simple. It's an 80s inspired arcade stealth platformer. You play as a raccoon, um, where the objective is to obtain all intel without being spotted. All you can do is hide, jump, and climb ladders. There's no combat, no dashing, not even a double jump. Pretty simple. For some context, let's travel back in time a few years when I first started game development. Now I, the big brain developer, was smart enough to realize I wasn't going to make Grand Theft Auto by myself, I wasn't going to make Zelda by myself. Heck, I knew I probably wasn't even going to make Gex. So I looked toward the indie games. Hollow Knight, Katana Zero, Celeste. One of these days I might make a game like that. But all of those games are actually deceptively complex, and they took a ton of time to develop. Since I'm only one person, and I'm only part-time, I needed something simpler to make. For over five years, my development cycle looked something like this. Come up with a seemingly simple idea, work on that idea, only to realize it would take years to finish. Scrap that idea. Rinse and repeat. As a result, I have a graveyard full of games and absolutely nothing to show for it. Since even most modern indies are out of my current scope, I decided to go back to where it all started. Pong, baby. Alright, that might be a little bit too far back. How about just arcades? Donkey Kong, Mappy, Elevator Action. These games are simple yet addictive and they don't feel too large in scope. As a bonus, new arcade games like Annalyn and Donut Dodo show that there is still a market for these smaller titles. Perfect. That brings us back to Super Spy Raccoon. Compared to all of my prior attempts, it definitely seems too simple. And that's exactly why I'm not going to do anything about it. Instead of adding more mechanics, I'm choosing to spend time playtesting, adding polish, and tweaking the level design. In fact, I've even gone so far as removing features and mechanics from previous prototypes in order to streamline gameplay and make the game even simpler. In early builds, patrolling enemies could actually be distracted by whistles and other sounds in order to get them off of their track. In addition to hiding behind bushes, the player was also able to hide behind barrels as long as they were crouching. I even played around with the idea that the player character could transform into other animals using their abilities to help them platform. While these all sound amazing on their own, each time I came up with a new idea or tried adding more features to the prototypes, I could feel the scope getting larger and larger and the project less and less manageable. Instead of focusing on adding additional features, I decided to focus on what made the game fun already. The adrenaline rush when you squeak by an enemy and clearing the level by the skin of your teeth. And since gold files, which are worth more points, are randomly placed each level, there's a healthy mix of strategy and skill required to beat the level each time. The replayability will come from players going for top scores, either locally or globally, I understand that this is not a game for everyone. Don't expect any lore, exploration, skill trees, yada yada yada, but if you want a blast from the past that's simple to understand, yet brutally hard to master, this game is for you. That's all I got for today. The game might be simple, but I think it'll still be super duper fun and I can't wait for y'all to play it. In the meantime, subscribe to keep up with development and wishlist Super Spy Raccoon on Steam. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.